Hi there, welcome to another, uh, another unboxing and uh, review uh, video from Melbourne here. So today we're going to unbox a, one of my favorite models from the Hot uh, Preparative Press Hot uh, Skirmish game. And uh, the faction that I played in this game is actually Legions of Light. And one of my favorite models in the series they have is actually this very outstanding looking model called the Carnivian. Alright, the Carnivian is actually one of the huge dragon spawn war beasts that looks a little bit like a. I'm not sure, it looks like a little bit shark like. And there's this uh, spikes coming up from them, and they have huge arms, and they have uh, six. If you look at the previous. Uh, uh, model that I actually do a review on is actually a variant of uh, the Canadian called the Scythian, I believe. So, all of the uh, property of press uniques comes with a tray box like this. And the review, so it comes with a base, which I definitely prefer because it's an enclosed version of the base. The new plastic kits comes with a base whereby they cut off this portion. So you have to do extra work by filling them up if you were to do certain uh, basic textures and stuff. Because the interesting thing is that most of the model doesn't come with inserts to place into the base. Anyway, so you get the huge base. Uh, you get, of course, the main torso, right, which is very similar to the one we see in the scaven kit, except that they actually cut off the entire portion here. So we have the lower torso, alright, that has got a certain leg attached to it. Oops, sorry, a bit off screen here. So a bit of green stuff work right there. And I believe this portion here would allow you to actually place the other leg. Like so. And you'll be standing on uh, the base, very nice looking, intimidating, huge wall base, staring up. There's uh, quite a few loops here, uh, we'll say that, uh, potholes here for you to actually place the huge arms that you can use to do your special attacks and stuff. So you get two of the arms, very mean looking shoulder, hut, carapace, plates by the side. Uh, and of course at the top portion here you get your head all right and attached to the head is of course the lower jaw all right uh, I think it goes like this all right so it's a very mean looking uh monster if you can call it. Uh of course it comes with the two tiny arms, right? And of course the two. And last but not least, all the spikes right that you can place right over the uh arm here. Right on top of the arm. You can see two portals here. Uh in that end, my uh, is for you to place the spikes. So I happen to have this is actually my second Canadian because I really enjoy having this model, uh, even though I don't really have the luxury of the time to actually paint them up. But I can imagine how fun it would be. I'm preparing one for painting uh, once I get time. Time enough, and I can believe I featured him in uh, the video of mine. But for those of you who haven't had the time to watch the video, if you are per thinking of starting the Legions of Light faction, this is how a, a fully assembled and primed Canadian looks like. We will actually zoom in to take a closer look. Alright. Very, very nice figure. Of course, you can actually put on. Uh, certain basing how you like it. Uh, for me it'd probably be a uh, cleave top with snow and I'd probably do some icicle work right here and uh, is looking down the cleave choosing his next target to charge towards. Very intimidating looking robbers, very nice, uh, definitely one of the attention seeking piece on the table. 
and if painted well, it can really cause serious damage in the gameplay as well. Alright, so I hope you like this review and find it useful. For those of you who are thinking of starting Visual Apple Blade, uh, Apple Blight, well, the Dragon, uh, Torok, right? No, not Torok. Eh, I need to read the fluff, I don't remember the fluff anymore. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and, uh, I'll make more videos if I can. So, probably get this by paint up pretty soon if I have the time. So, once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.